this evening. Focus of the Compline is a man who I've got a lot of affinity with, I think, to be honest. A man, Jean Vianney. I like this. He was a poor academic and he struggled with his priesthood bits because of his his education and his background but you know he became a man who because he was devoted to God and holiness he became something rather special a man who put the pastoral before everything and served the Lord with love and compassion and you know what isn't that what you'd rather be all these people running around clamouring for whatever, however, the bits of paper and the applause of others. I'd rather have the applause of God any day. So, let's take a second to pause and we will begin our service. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And a moment of reflection on the day now past. And the image, by the way, is a stained glass window of John Vianney. And having seen photographs of him, it's a pretty good likeness. We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 31 In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. 
Love the Lord, all you his servants. For the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the fool the proud. Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 6 and 7 Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your cares on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping. And awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father, as we think of Jean Vianney, as we think of this man who, well, had little formal education, was the child of a farmer, spent much of his childhood as a shepherd, at the age of 20 studied for the priesthood and he found that hard. Despite his poor academic performance he was ordained in 1815 and he was ordained not because of his education but because of his devotion and holiness. A man who was a parish priest in an unimportant backwater and he would preach at 11 every day he cared for his people. He shared his love. He shared his life. Father God, we thank you for the witness of this man this day. And we pray that we, as we look back on this day and as we look back perhaps on our lives, might see that we, although we are humble in origins, I don't think any of us managed to make it to Eton or any other public school and not many of us are Oxbridge but you know in just being ordinary by the power of the Spirit God's love is made real in us and we become extraordinary. Father God as we reflect on all this day has been we thank you for your hand on our lives, your love in our hearts and your calling before us. And as we reflect on the day and all it's held, Help us to reflect also that holiness and devotion and holiness in God cause us to 
across the rocky places, the bumps, the challenges, the crises as well as engage in the love of God and joy. Father, we pray that at the end of this day, at the end of our lives, Lord, we come before you and you, the great physician, bring us healing. You, the divine artist, put upon us the finishing touches of us, your creation. And Lord, as we pray for healing, in us, in our errors and faults, we pray for healing in those today who have been before us, who may have wounded us, who may have challenged us, who may have hurt us in so many ways. Father God, we pray that we who are called to follow Jesus might love as Jesus loves might give as Jesus gave and continues to give and may bless those who perhaps do not bless us. Lord as we come to the close of this day may we perhaps reflect on the needs of the people around us, on the people for whom we pray for the people on our hearts and minds that as you are God and good in their lives as you are God and good in ours we might come to this day and using those words reflecting on creation that we might turn round safe in the knowledge that God looks upon us and in with him we can say it's good. Father, help us to find the good in every day. Help us to find your voice in every day. Help us that even though so often, as a man said today via a third party, that we live in hell on this earth. Father, we know that we in the flesh are flawed and broken but Lord your word good means complete and the follies of this world are for people who are not completing you for the people who are so distant that they act in contradiction to your love Lord we're created in your image and through that natural line of sin we are flawed but Father God you taking flesh have died for us risen ascended you call us to be one with you and the Godhead Father Son and Holy Spirit to work with you to walk with you and to love like you so father we pray that for tonight we pray that in the image of Jean Vianney in a man whose academic was rough but his heart was filled as we pray for the world and its brokenness our friends family and neighbors in their needs and for the church for her witness her love and her life. Father God, we pray that you, you would send us to your beds in peace, counting the blessings and grateful that we, though little perhaps in the world's eyes, though not rich, though not powerful, though not educated in the highest places, receive our instructions from you. So help us, Lord, as we go to bed, to sleep, to rest, to rejoice, and tomorrow to wake to a new day. 
We ask this in your most glorious name. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And with the words of Jesus on our lips, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So thank you for being with us tonight, guys. I hope you have a good night's sleep. You wake refreshed and blessed. Bye for now. <laughs>